five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. The time has come to see if we can fire this old engine up. Got a little bit to do, so we'll be doing a few things this episode. Head gasket, distributor, um, carburetor, ignition leads, all the bits and pieces, spark plugs and that kind of stuff. And um, we'll connect the battery to the starter motor and see if she'll fire up. How does that sound? So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll take this head off clean the surfaces and do the head gasket. gasket surfaces is a necessary evil and uh, I remember when I was an apprentice that was the apprentice's job every mechanic would make you clean their gasket surfaces while they went off and had a cigarette or a coffee or chatted with another mechanic mate or you were there with a piece of emery paper and a scraper trying to get these things perfect because when they'd come back and they'd say you're done they'd go no you're not and you'd go over it again and again and again the life of an apprentice mechanic. I wish I was that young still, but but I don't know about doing this all the time. That's all we did, clean stuff. But when you became a tradesman, guess what? You got the apprentices to clean your stuff. And that, I'm telling you right now, made the job a lot more pleasurable because, like I said, it's the necessary evil of any mechanical work or any working on cars is clean surfaces and they've got to be spotless. And once you've done that, you do it again. The painful thing about this particular engine and these engines in particular are all the studs you gotta get in and around the base of all these shafts and clean them we're on a modern car it's flat and it's quite easy just to rub over the whole thing you know uh, yeah, the joys the joys and I've got to do the head yet that's gonna be easy no studs One interesting thing I've just noticed is that this is a standard bore. There's no stamps on the top. There's hardly any play in that piston. And there's no lip on these bores. So how good's that? This is a very low K original motor. Would be uh, not that common, I don't reckon.
So your um, cylinder head torque on these are 69 hugger duggers. I've got my torque wrench, don't worry. Another job I can tick off the list. Righto, so when I put that cylinder head on before I did, I oiled up the cylinders just to give them a little bit of lubrication on startup. I'm also going to fire this up on two stroke just to give that extra bit of oil in there. But on the cylinder head that didn't come off, I'm just going to pour a little bit of two stroke oil, just a tiny bit, into each cylinder just to give it a bit of a head start. Now I'm going to gap and install my spark plugs. So there was this um, shop I used to run, a workshop, and uh, we had, um, I remember one customer, it was a Maltese bloke, lo lovely bloke, and um, but he uh, spark plugs. He was more concerned about if I'd change the candles. <laughs> did you change the candles? Than the, you know, multi hundred dollar bill of other stuff that we did. But yeah, I thought that was funny, never forgotten it, the candles. Righto, so the next job, I want to spritz up this um, dizzy and uh, we'll put it on. So as discussed in previous um, videos, I needed to get an adapter plate to mount the two bolt dizzy. There it is. So I'm going to fit that now and then um, I'll clean the points and gap them and uh, we'll chuck that dizzy in. <laughs> I don't have my rotor button yet, so we'll leave the leads and the cap and all that for later. But that's installed and I'm happy with that. Um, next job, what are we going to do? Carby? So I've got a few of these Ford stamped 94 carburetors kicking around. This one I've never used, but I do have one that I used only a few years ago on the Mongrel. So let's find that one and uh, we'll go through that because it's going to be alright. 
There it is. <coughs> Righto, so I'll quickly pull the top off this thing and have a look inside. I really need to get one of those ultrasonic cleaners, you know. It would make life easier. And they'd look better than this. I'll do that one day, soon. spotless in there. Leadland seat looked good. We'll just throw it back together and we'll chuck it on. So I've just thrown on a new gasket and uh, we'll throw this guy on. I need to find some nuts and a stud. That's what she said. For the day we'll be back tomorrow and um, I'll keep carrying on with what we need to do make sure my starter's good give that a coat of paint make sure it's bolted in properly I'm still waiting on a rotor button so I can't do anything there um, what else do we need to do I've got leads I've got my dizzy cap I've got a battery and I've got battery cables so we've got everything um, bit of fuel we have compression now, we have ignition, we just need those little bits and pieces and she should fire up. Interesting to see how that goes. Oh, and I've got to put some um, oil in the old transmission as well, so we'll do that. Alright, I'll see you shortly. Righto, we're back and um, the moment of truth with this starter motor. I think I've got a couple more, um, but hopefully they're all good. Um, let's go, hey? Okay, we've got sparkage. Oh, doesn't sound good, does it? needs to be bolted in. So these starter motors are held together by two bolts that also bolted in um, and it's loose, it was tight or crowded together so I thought it might work. Anyway we've got it to spin um, but it's moved so it turns. What we'll do is I'll clean it up properly and we'll chuck it in the motor and fingers crossed it works. And before you get all your knickers in a twist about using a 12 volt battery on a 6 volt starter the only thing I do recommend is carry a spare Bendix because they're hard on the Bendix but apart from that you won't have any problems righto so I have already chucked my steering box in because it's tight in there and um, I didn't want the starter or anything else to get into the way of that so that's in um, I'll chuck that starter in now and uh, we'll test it again and then we'll start looking at putting headers on it So I'm sitting here wondering why I can't get this starter motor to go in 
and uh, I notice that it's hitting the adjuster nut when I try and line it up with the correct hole and I'm like why would it be hitting it's a factory chassis factory steering box factory engine why would it be hitting and then I remembered we pinched the rails didn't we it wouldn't have been by a lot but man challenges they just do not stop Oh boy, that was a nightmare. I modified the adjuster screw, the adjuster nut, removed the big spring washer that didn't need to be there for the adjuster nut. Then I ground a heap off the starter motor and then I probably had a business card thickness of space. So then I loosened off all my mounts, my gearbox and engine mounts and yoink the motor over just a bit and now I don't know if you can see but we've got clearance we have clearance oh that was a nightmare and you'd never believe it there's no chance those headers are going to fit in there I'm just going to put this down and give it a rest for a minute and um, we'll get back to the headers later it's not going to stop me from starting it um, but yeah I don't want to do it today Sometimes you just got to put the tools down, have a lemon squash, and reset. Well, it's another day. Yesterday fried me pretty hard, so I had to have a bit of a break. But Posty just dropped off my rotor button, so we can start finishing off this ignition. So let's put that in, get the leads on, and uh, we're almost ready to fire up. that hodgepodge is all clean and tidy um, we'll start looking at uh, some electricals hey wire this up okay I think we're just about ready I have just done some basic wiring to my coil um, from a battery and got some power leads going on so what I'm going to do now is just rip off my dizzy cap connect my ignition wire and make sure we've got spark at the points Spark. We'll chuck a wee bit of two stroke down the guts. And let's see what happens. The only thing that's going to let us down is this um, starter motor because I haven't tested it properly yet.
Okay. Thing. Doing nothing. G'day, it's been a couple of days. Um, I couldn't get that starter to turn over, so I pulled another starter out that I had and it wouldn't turn over either. I was just getting arcing so I decided to make sure my battery was charged up. I don't have a battery load tester so I just chucked the battery on for a couple of days. Um, haven't been in here yesterday. I had footy yesterday and I'm a bit sore. But anyway so what I'm going to do now is with a fully charged battery test these starter motors and uh, if they're no good well we're gonna to have to pull them apart and try and get one to work. Let's see what we can do. Also what I've done to be able to test these off the engine, I've just with the bolts that go all the way through, I've put nuts on the back. So the starter motor's held together in one unit. Nothing. Come on. So a couple of obvious things I can see, um, three of the brushes are stuck, so they're probably not even making contact. They are worn, but I think you'll find there's enough in there, and it's pretty dirty in there too, so not hard to do. I'll free these brushes up, give it a bit of a clean, and we'll try it again. If we have no luck with this, I'll pull the other one apart. Birds. So that one's not working still, no change. Um, I've just pulled this other dirty old one apart and it's like brand new inside. I don't know if you can see a bit of wear on the brushes but it's like new so why wouldn't this one be working? <sighs> I think I found out what my problem was. Do that. No good. I've pulled apart two starter motors.
anyway this second one works like a champion the other one was the one I modified to fit in there so I'm going to retest that because if that one works I don't have to modify this other one it spins up perfectly so <sighs> lots of mucking around this thing's beating me up this episode get this thing back in there pour some fuel down that carby again and uh, we'll see if she'll fire up eh? okay I've just chucked some fuel in we're wired up let's see huh Looks like I'm going to have to try that other starter motor. Righto, take 776. Does that sound at last something I can smile about? This has beaten me up, this thing, and it's still gonna keep beating me up. This episode's probably been one of the hardest I've done, I think. Yeah, how good. I need to sit down. So hopefully the neighbors heard that. They wouldn't have a clue what's going on in the shed at the moment. They'd know I'm up to something, but um, that sounded like a full drag car. <laughs> Straight out. Straight out of the block, but yeah, I'm really happy. I've achieved what I wanted to achieve in this video anyway. It's been a long time coming, um, but we're still ahead of schedule, so that's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. Stay tuned for the next one. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Catch you later. See ya.